Okay, so where do I put this screenshot? What about those web clippings? What about these emails, these articles, these chunks of research? Where? If you're a project manager, program manager, researcher, teacher, any other hardworking professional, you're always looking for the perfect online space to toss in and organize your stuff. Enter Evernote. So rather than try and explain what Evernote does, I'm going to cast you in the role of project manager. You just got handed a big initiative. So look, get yourself a cup of joe and your favorite brioche and watch what happens during Evernote for professionals. The first thing you do as project manager is create a new Evernote book by going to File, New Notebook. Now you name the notebook the Abe Project. And because you expect to work in this notebook often, you make it your default notebook. You'll sync the notebook often, so you leave Synchronize Notebook button checked. You make sure to discuss the details of Evernote Sync with your team today. Now you simply select the Create button to create the new notebook. Okay, you've got your new notebook, you're ready to go. The first thing you want to do is cruise over to the Drupal website and look at their content management tools. You notice a new version of Drupal has been released. You check out the Drupal 6.0 release announcement and decide to clip some information. You select some release content. Then click the Firefox Evernote Clip button right here. And a new Evernote doc is automatically created. The title is filled in and the page link is right here. So, add some tags here in the tagline. A CMS, a notes, and just close the note window. The article is automatically saved. Okay, you notice a new Drupal screencast. You simply right-click in the player and Add to Evernote. Now in the new page, you add your tags, this time Abe CMS and Abe Training. Notice the URL here. Click it and you're ready to view the screencast. Okay, you found a Drupal site you really like and you want to drop a screenshot of it into Evernote. No problem. You select Control Command C. Now this combination is customizable on both the Mac and PC versions of Evernote. Stretch out this window. Then click OK. And another new Evernote doc is automatically created. OK, just create your tags and close. Ah, you take a look at all your good work so far. Three documents and three cool ways to get content into Evernote. Our Nimble project manager is well on her way to organizational nirvana. So, while she's lunching with her team, let's peek at her documents and take a detailed look at Evernote tags and searching. Each Evernote document header contains a title, a tagline, and if available, a web link. These tags here were created on the fly by just typing in the tagline. Evernote remembers every tag you create. Type a tag and Evernote provides a type of head list you can pick from. When you type a new tag here in the line, Evernote adds it to this tag list here. Click a tag on the list like Abe CMS, and all the docs containing that tag are displayed. Command click two tags, and all docs containing both tags are displayed. As you select tags here in the list, Evernote builds a tag filter statement up here. So let's see what functions we have available. This is the notebook button. 
we can filter other notebooks on the fly. All or any. Well, that's a way to further refine our filter. Now, here are the tag buttons. You can broaden your filter by closing any one of these tags. Now, let's type a search word, affinity, and Evernote found one document. Now, well, that's not so profound. Or is it? Now, this page contains a screenshot, and that's an image. Yet, Evernote can search it. Yeah, profound. You see, Evernote recognizes text in everything tossed into it. Images, photos, scans, handwriting, everything. When you get your filter and search just perfect, you can save it by selecting the Save button right over here. And Save Searches are listed down here. So, the combination of unlimited tagging, filtering, and searching in Evernote, that is the perfect antidote for our highly unorganized world. Okay, you tell your team that your Mac at work automatically syncs with the Evernote servers. When you fire up Evernote on your laptop at home, you already have a fully synced set of documents waiting for you. And your Evernote for iPhone also syncs all your documents. And your Evernote for BlackBerry syncs your stuff as well. You make a change to one Evernote and all the others sync up. And you know what? Life is good again.